Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and today I'm going to be making a hat rack out of a single piece of acrylic. Let's get to it. For this project, you're going to need a sheet of black cast acrylic. This one is 12 inches tall by 24 inches long. You don't have to have that size. It all depends on how big you want to make the hat rack itself. You're going to need a heat gun or something to be able to heat the acrylic up with to bend it and a pair of gloves just to be safe because it will get really hot and you just don't want to burn yourself. You will also need something to cut the acrylic with. In my case, I'm going to be using a CO2 laser. You can also use a CNC. If you're feeling really adventurous, you can try a scroll saw maybe. I'm also going to be adding my logo to this design. There are many ways to do this. I'm actually going to just engrave it because I'm already putting it into the laser, but you can do it with vinyl lettering or you can paint it on. There's multiple ways to do this. You don't have to have a laser to do that portion. I've already got my design mocked up. I'm going to go over to the laser. I'm going to cut it out first. Then I will unmask the acrylic. I will engrave it and then I'll start heat bending it. So let's go over to the laser and get started. For the cutting process, I leave the paper masking on to help protect the face of the acrylic from having any kind of marred surface. For this step, I'm cutting out the main piece for the hat rack, as well as some accessory pieces that I'll talk about later in the video. Once the main piece of the hat rack was cut, I peeled off the paper masking so that I could move on to the engraving step. I put the acrylic back into the cut form and began engraving it at 60% speed, 40% power. This process took about 16 minutes to complete. I've machined the acrylic for the hat rack. Now what I need to do is go through and heat bend each of these tabs that are hanging down that will become the hooks. I'm gonna have to do this in two parts because I plan for it to be kind of an L shape where it comes up. So I'm gonna go through, try to do the first bend. This is quarter inch acrylic, so it's going to take a while to heat up to be able to bend it in the first place. I'm gonna go ahead, clamp it to the workbench, start heating these up and try bending them over. That sounded really bad. <laughs> I've covered the acrylic with paper on both sides just to protect it while I'm trying to heat it up and I'm clamping it down. I've also gone through and lined this up so that the tabs are hanging an inch over the edge of my workbench. Hopefully this will all work out the way that I intend it to. We'll see if that happens. I've never really bent quarter inch acrylic before, so we'll see if this works. Hopefully it all goes as planned. So I'm gonna go ahead, clamp these pieces down, start heating up the tabs, and then try to bend them over one by one. This is gonna take a while, so I'll probably either try to speed this part up or I'll jump to the end where I've already gone through heating them up and trying to bend them. Let's get to it. I started by using the heat gun to heat up each tab to be able to bend it over. It took a few minutes for the tab to get hot enough to actually be able to bend the acrylic. Once I had the first bend done on each tab, I went back through, heated up each tab again, and made the second bend. The trick that I found to this was to make sure that it got hot enough to bend easily, don't try to force it, and be patient while you're bending to make sure that you don't crack the acrylic. While you are bending the acrylic, as soon as you let go of it, it starts to come back to its original shape. So you have to hold the acrylic in place until it's cool enough to be able to hold shape without you pushing on it. The heat bending did take a little longer than expected. Part of that I think is just because this is quarter inch thick acrylic. So it is going to take quite a bit longer to heat up than some of the thinner stuff, but here is the final product. So 
This is intended to be a hat rack. So some of these hooks are bent a little bit further than others. So I'm going to go back and just bend uh, a couple of these a little more just so that they're a little bit more even. It's a little bit difficult to get them all to be even without making a specific jig for this. I was just using the edge of my workbench, but I'm gonna go ahead and tweak these and then we're going to hang it up. I did forget to mention that I made some extra rings. So the intent of these is that they will hook on to the hat rack and then I can hang things off of these as well as a hat. I've also made one that I'm going to bend into a hook that will basically be a second hook underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead, bend this one, and then I'm going to hang this all up and fill it up. I have the hook made. I have the actual hanger ready to go, but I need to hang it up. I didn't add any holes, as you see, to just drill directly through the acrylic. What I actually wanted to do was use these snap tight fittings. So the way these work is I will glue this clear piece onto the back of the acrylic. Then I will attach this white side to the wall. And basically they just come together and when you push them, they will click into place. And it's a secure fitting. You just need to make sure that you get the correct weight rating for these. So I think each of these supports uh, maybe a pound or two. So I'm gonna use at least four of them and hang it up to the wall. To attach these, I'm going to be using Weld On 4. It's just an acrylic adhesive. Uh, because this is an acrylic piece as well. And you want to basically bond them together. So I'm going to take the tape measure. I'm just gonna measure out the overall length. I measured the studs on my wall and they're about 14 inches apart. So I'm basically just going to put them at 14 inches apart and then try to split the difference. So I've got them about 14 inches apart. So what I'm gonna do is make a mark where those were. I'm gonna glue them about there. So basically I'm just using the needle point, putting it on the seam of where the acrylic meets, and then just holding it there long enough to bond. So my plan is to hang it basically here. Uh, the standoffs I'm using will let it basically go over top of this. So it's going to sit something like that. I'm going to find where I have the acrylic piece, try to line it up the best I can, make sure that this is as level as I can be, given, you know, the fact that I've bent this. But once I have it, if I push, you'll see little tiny dents where these pieces were because these pieces have a tiny point on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead, drill those out, put the anchors in and hang it up. Now I'm just going to line it up and snap it into place. The good part about these type of fittings is I can take this right off if I wanted to. And then if, just to put it on, snap it back into place. I'm going to use the extra hook that I made just to see if this works. Going to add it on. So yes, obviously it's not flush with the wall. It does hang a little weird, but that way I can hang one hat right on top of the other and basically be able to add more later on if I want to. So this is an expandable design. You can add things to it. I've also made some rings that will attach to this so that if I wanted to use like a hanger. So for example, if I wanted to hang my glasses, I can put them underneath, hang them on one of the hooks, and then I can put a hat over top and it's all kind of just right there. So yes, it does cover up the glasses, uh, but I do like that I'm able to hang other stuff off this other than just hats. So it is a pretty versatile design, a pretty expandable design. I like the way it turned out. So I am going to insert a picture 
So I'm gonna insert a better picture of the hat rack. So there it is hanging on the wall. I like the fact that it's custom. Obviously the heat bending part is not perfect, but the fact that I heat bent quarter inch acrylic successfully, I'm pretty proud of. And I do like how the whole rack turned out. I also like the fact that I have hooks to expand it if I want to. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with the design. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to check out new videos coming out each week. If you have other ideas for projects for heat bending acrylic, please leave me a comment below because I'm always looking for new things to try out. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiments where I post stories of this along the way. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.